and the amount of hatred and xenophobia that's being skewed by a fucking piece of shit racist in the White House and the GOP party. It's amazing to me that after all this fucking time, people debate whether he's a fucking racist or not. It's pretty obvious. You know, and the, the policies that they're fucking putting in separating children from parents and keeping people in cages is just fucking sick. It says a lot about our society and what it's become. And, uh, exactly. And there are fucking concentration camps, no matter what the fucking media says. You know, every one of us in this room has a lot more in common with refugees fleeing for their lives because of shitty situations than a piece of shit billionaire that's had his, everything in his fucking life handed to him. slip away, the harder it is to fucking get them back.
got one more. And uh, this one, of course, too, is sadly irrelevant. More so now than ever before. I hear a lot of rumblings from people, e even friends and people in the punk scene that should fucking know better that I keep hearing the right wing talking point about how oh, Antifa are just as bad as fucking fascists. We gotta be fucking kidding. You know, we need to the, the fucking label these Nazi scum as fucking terrorists, which is what they are. You know? Antifa are fucking freedom fighters. They're out on the street, fucking standing up to Nazi cowards and terrorists who are literally gunning down fucking children in the last fucking month. How many fucking children? This is fucking in our own backyard. Exactly. The biggest attack on Jewish Americans happened right here in Pittsburgh in our own fucking backyard. Fucking the main reason we're doing this tonight is to say fuck that. Yeah. So this is for everybody here, so now everyone fucking stands up for what is right. And again, we gotta look out for each other because shit is getting so bad. It's not gonna fucking turn around without us making it. Fuck Nazi sympathy. Take the inspiration, go write your own songs. 